we're an apparel manufacturing company. We've been in business since 67. The original owner's garage to where we are today. The warehouse is about 110,000 square feet. The total facility is about 360,000 square feet. We do have on-site manufacturing. Um, try to mainly do most everything in-house. We do run two shifts. We run pick, pack, and receiving on day shift, and then we run a night shift for replenishment crew, basically to restock the auto store. We had like 18 foot high racking, uh, 42 inch. Then we had a, a very narrow aisle that we basically just walked up and down the aisles and picked into like totes. There was 160,000 bin locations. Putting an auto store was initially probably a capacity thing. We were busting at the seams. So we looked at multiple options, you know, of course, building a new building, leasing another building. So we ended up landing on auto store because basically for every million units of static racking we take down, we're picking up about 2.25 million units of capacity on auto store. So we were able to over double our footprint while reducing the staff and staying in the same building. Auto Store is a cube-based storage system. So basically what we're doing is taking out all the walk aisles throughout a warehouse. What we're doing is taking all the product, we're putting it inside of a bin, and then we're stacking all the bins on top of each other in a very, very dense cube. And then instead of having operators walk up and down aisles and grab product off of these shelves, there's robots that run around on top of this big grid of bins and picks out the bins that are needed. It was quite a change to go from manual picking, walking up and down the aisles, picking into totes, to having the goods brought to you. So orders come into the company, um, either via internet or um, catalog orders. They immediately um, go through Batch and Exacta software, which batches orders of like SKUs together. Those orders are then processed into different groups and sent to the auto store system as task. So typically now we have a, an operator that is standing in a, a picking port and bins are being presented to them. The operator looks down at the light, sees that I need three of these items out of this bin. Two of them may go in this order, one may go in this order. They click the button to confirm those picks and then the next bin comes around, the next uh, item is ready to be picked. Once the items are picked, they're, they're placed straight into a, a shipping container or an envelope. Once all items for that order are picked, the, the order is just slid across the table to the pack station. The packer is gonna add any type of dunnage material, add a packing list, possibly do a quality audit, seal up the box, put a shipping label on, and then throw it onto the, the takeaway conveyor. The takeaway conveyor is, is right up against the wall of the auto store. It will move all product from any of the 10 picking ports all down to one central shipping area. From the time that, that the packer um, tapes the box closed, throws it on the conveyor, and then if there's one person into the line that's floor loading into trucks. And, and that's pretty well the, the entire operation. We ended up going with Bastion Solutions. We probably interviewed two or three different people and ended up going with Bastion because they were here locally and we thought that they had they could support us well. And then we did take a couple tours with them and look at some facilities they had done and the work seemed professional and clean and well-functioning. Overall, the decision to utilize the AutoStar technology has had great results. The throughput is exceeding our expectations and recently set an incredible record for the total units shipped from the facility in a single day. 